Dear students, in this module, we are going to discuss the conflict perspective of social change. The conflict perspective views the social change as the consequence of social conflict and disagreement over values, beliefs, and distribution of resources. This view is largely influenced by the famous economist and sociologist Karl Marx, arguing that social change is brought about by the struggle between different social classes. For example, rural urban migration in Pakistan can be seen from conflict perspective. The rural population being a disadvantaged class with limited resources moves to the urban areas in search for better opportunities. This triggers the conflict over resources in urban areas leading to the societal change in the form of rapid urbanization and also change in their social norms. It asserts that the social change often results from a process of negotiation, struggle and power play. The changes are not very much welcomed, but are the result of clashes of interest and coercion. If there are two classes, definitely resources are scarce, they are not unlimited, so every class endeavors to have more and more share of those resources. And when we see particularly in Pakistan, where we find that more and more facilities are available for the urbanites and ruralites are suffering as compared to those and it becomes almost penalizing for them when they have to come to the cities for their every second potential facility that they want to have like the facility of education uh, health or judiciary or political aspect, every kind of facility that they want to have, they need to move from their rural areas to the urban areas. So the conflict perspective also states that the social change is mostly abrupt and revolutionary rather than gradual or evolutionary. So this is because conflicting parties aim for drastic changes to safeguard their interests. For example, if you recall the Liars Movement in 2007 for the restoration of Chief Justice in Pakistan, which led to a significant political shift in the country, is an instance of abrupt social change through potentially conflicting situation. So the conflict perspective theorists like Ron Drof Darendorf argue that every society somewhere contains conflict which leads to change and conflict is a vital part of the social relationships and thus it ultimately leads to social change. For example, conflicts between different ethnic groups in Karachi resulting from cultural, economic and political differences have led to the changes in the city dynamics, demographic composition, and also in the policy making. While often seen as negative, the conflict perspective emphasizes that the conflict can also bring positive change. It can help rectify power imbalance, lead to social justice, and create more equitable society. Land reforms in Pakistan in 1970s, for example, although controversial, and a source of conflict aimed to reduce economic inequalities and concentrated land ownership, deriving a significant social change. Lastly, the conflict perspective emphasizes that social change is continual. In contrast to the change that we have observed that in the cyclical perspective, they are of the view that Societies are always in a process of negotiation and readjustment and hence 
they are continuously evolving. For example, the continual negotiation between different political parties in Pakistan, often leading to the shifts in power, demonstrates this ongoing process of democratic and social change.